hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Unsung Heroes of Hollywood. I'm your host, Jordan Ross, and today I'm talking about Christopher Nolan's brother, Jonathan Nolan. Now, Christopher Nolan is arguably one of the greatest directors of all time, but many of his best films have been a collaborative effort with his brother, Jonathan, who wrote a lot of his screenplays. Now, like his brother, his resume doesn't have a lot of quantity, but the quality is really, really high. So some of his past projects include writing the scripts for Memento, The Prestige, The Dark Night, the Dark Knight Rises, Interstellar, and he created the popular TV shows Person of Interest and Westworld. The only limit here is your imagination. You start in the center of the park, it's simple, safe. The further out you venture, the more intense the experience gets. How far you want to go is entirely up to you. Now, Memento was the first film I saw that he worked on, but I wasn't aware of him as a writer until The Prestige, which coincidentally is my favorite project of his. In fact, it's one of my favorite movies of all time, and a huge reason for that is his incredible screenplay. Indeed, many of you may be familiar with this technique, but for those of you who aren't, do not be alarmed. What you're about to see is considered safe. A few fun facts about Jonathan Nolan. I already mentioned his brother is Christopher Nolan, making the two of them one of the most talented sibling duos in Hollywood, and they've been working together consistently throughout both of their careers. In fact, Jonathan worked on his brother Christopher's first few films as well. He was the grip for Christopher Nolan's Doodlebug, which was a short film, and for Following, which was his first feature film. And he not only wrote the screenplay for Memento, but he was a production assistant on that film as well. Also, when I was doing research, for this episode, I came across a really interesting quote from Jonathan Nolan. And in that quote, he claims to be a writer that hates writing, but loves having written. Which, as a writer, I can kind of relate to. I mean, there are moments where I really love writing, but it's kind of like working out. I have to force myself to do it, and then afterwards, I'm glad that I did it. So I thought that was a really interesting way of putting it. Now, as for my favorite project of his, I already mentioned that it's The Prestige, because that's one of my favorite movies ever. But like, like I mentioned earlier, everything on his resume is really high quality stuff, so there's nothing he's done that I don't like. What the f is wrong with you? Well, I guess I can only make you remember the things you want to be true. Like old Jimmy down there. He's not the right guy. He was to you. And now for his upcoming projects, of course there's season 2 of Westworld, which is one of the most highly anticipated TV seasons within the next couple of years. Also, he's been developing another series for HBO based on the popular science fiction series Foundation. It's apparently a really complex book series that spans five centuries and focuses on a bunch of separate stories, but if anyone could adapt something that complicated, it's Jonathan Nolan. Also, a while back he wrote a film called Hell and Gone, which is described as a Titanic-like historical tragedy slash dramatic romance based on the Chicago Fire of 1871. Nolan also described it as a revenge story, so it sounds really interesting, and back in 2010, Jay Blakeson, who directed The Disappearance of Alice Creed, was set to direct. But unfortunately, that fell through, so fingers crossed that it happens eventually, because if this guy wrote it, I'm sure it's amazing. Anyway, definitely go check out his past projects if you haven't already. Also, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on all of my social media accounts, which you can find in the description section below. And if you can think of anyone within the film industry that doesn't get the recognition they deserve, let me know that too, and maybe I'll pick that person for a future episode of Unsung Heroes of Hollywood. Anyway, thanks again for watching this episode, and until next time, I'm your host, Jordan Ross. Mm -hmm.